as a chest surgeon i have been operating on people's chest namely lungs for over 30 years we do about 3 cases a day during this period i have noticed some very fundamental and very frightening changes in the uh, color of lungs of people as well as in the spectrum that i see in the opd so first coming to the or experience so lungs when we are born they are pink in color what i have seen is black deposits on the pink lungs so initially say about 30 years back it used to be something i used to see only in smokers that we will have black deposits non smokers will have by and large pink lungs over the years slowly it has changed to the extent that for the last 7 8 9 10 years i rarely see a pink lung even in non smokers and my real horrible moment was about 7 years back when i saw black deposits on the lungs of even teenagers important thing is that these black deposits once deposited in the lungs are permanent and no therapy no treatment can remove them they stay there and they cause life long damage to the lungs and various other organs so this is what i have seen in the or in the outdoor this has concurrently converted and been seen by me in the form of change in the demographics of the lung cancer patient which is very frightening but i wish to share it with you 30 years back the profile of a lung cancer patient was majority will be smokers they would be in 50s and 60s mostly men and they would have history of prolonged smoking over the 30 years now i see 50% plus patients to be so called non smokers they are in 30s or 40s instead of 50s and 60s earlier so there is almost decayed at a half preponderance of the peak age 40% of the patient today are women non smokers from non smoking families and it's a rarity for me to see pink lung so there is a huge change from only smokers to lot of so called non smokers also which has occurred and i attribute it only to exposure of the so called non smokers to air pollution so i dare say that air pollution is now having the same impact on the lungs as smoking has and there is scientific basis to prove that if you go into the details of the contents of a cigarette smoke it has over 70 cancer causing agents and when you analyze the chemical composition of the polluted air you find that a lot of those cancer causing chemicals are present here also